Hey guys, Chris Cooler Shooter here. Just got a quick video for you today. Um, I uh, had some non range time, I guess. Uh, it's been pouring rain here last little bit, so I uh, just thought I would uh, just kind of give you an update on uh, just did a trigger in, trigger spring update on my uh, my Glock. Uh, G20 10 mil Gen 4. Uh, I got the M Carbo trigger spring kit for the Gens 1 to 4 or 2 to 4, whatever it says on there. Um, and I, I'd already done a Gen 5 version on a Glock 48, which I'm gonna do a video on just kind of like what the trigger weight is after the fact. But yeah, it, it didn't take me very long at all um, just to quickly get it in. I put the four pound trigger spring kit or tr trigger striker spring in. So we'll just, uh, just kind of see what it's pulling now. Um, so now that's no longer stock, um, pistol's clear. I got no mag in it. So we're going to be using the Wheeler uh, digital gauge here. So we'll just kind of go and I'll do my best here to just pull straight back nope it's all right I believe that three pounds ten ounces so let's uh, let's try on uh, try another one three pounds 14 ounces so pretty consistent we'll just do a loop of five here just to kind of see that was three pounds even two pounds 15.6 ounces so basically three pounds and we'll do one more just to see what a five average is. No, I'm hoping I'm three pounds, 10.1 ounces. So a uh, total of five poles. Um, we're looking at three pounds, six and a half ounces. So I'm not exactly what, sure what it was before, but uh, it's uh it's pretty nice so i'll just kind of kind of lose like a little bit of take up there a little bit of take up and then breaks pretty clean and then the reset yeah it's about a couple millimeters and then just breaks a glass there's no, there's no, uh, I just click, just a little bit of pressure. Yeah, so that'll be uh, a lot more fun to, to give her a try at the range. So just thought I'd give you guys an update and uh, just kind of see what you can get out of it. So um, yeah, the M Carbo Trigger Spring Kit, uh, it's not not expensive it doesn't take that long to install and uh i think the gains you get out of it are are worth it so thanks for watching guys take care